everyone. Thank you so much for watching my channel. This is Kelsey Halls and today we are doing the most beautiful smoky brown look. So stay tuned to watch more. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to do the most perfect bronzy neutral color. As you know, I love my nudes. We are going to start with our silk pore minimizer. And it also helps minimize them. So not only is it making your canvas smooth and beautiful for your makeup, but it's also curing the problem. Next up, we are going to do our medium tint moisturizer. The medium tint moisturizer is so phenomenal because it's color correcting. So you can see I have a ton of red in my skin everywhere. So it's gonna help balance that. Next up, we are going to apply foundation. And the shade that we are using today is Dewy. Now you definitely do not need to use foundation and the tinted moisturizer. Um, I do this for a little bit extra coverage. Now that we have our foundation on, we're gonna go in with some concealer. This is the light concealer. Concealer is so crucial for under your eyes because it really just brightens them up and covers any dark circles and bags that you have underneath your eyes. So I blend it in a little bit with my fingers and then of course I go in with my beauty sponge because it's Before I finish my face, my contouring and all that stuff, I like to finish my eyes. Before we do our eyes, we are going to start with candlelight. This is a really light base. Basically what it's doing is you apply your foundation so that you get an even blank canvas. We're gonna go in and start adding some color and doing some fun things. We are going to start with our color Copper Rose. So we are gonna go in with my all-time favorite shadow brush. It is just a Morphe brush, it does not have a number. Um, it comes in their regular eye palette brush set. I'm applying the shadow directly to the brush. This is to ensure that we get an even application. Anywhere you put your brush down first, that is where the color is going to be the darkest. So we're gonna start in the corner, blend it over, up and over. Uh, and when you think you're done blending, blend for an additional like 20 to 15 seconds. This is gonna make sure that your shadow is seamless and smooth and not patchy. Okay, so now we are taking our blending palette and we are going to mix Copper Rose and Garnet. I'm gonna add a little bit of Copper Shimmer Rose just to give it a more rustic feel. This is one thing that I love about our makeup is you can get four colors and you can create 20 billion different looks because when you mix the different colors, they're gonna make different looks. This is the color we've created. Okay, I love the depth of that color. Now we're gonna go right underneath. Okay, this is actually a Lily England brush. I actually initially... So now I'm gonna take that exact same brush and I'm actually going to darken my lash line. I am going to take Sandstone Pearl directly on my eye. The reason why we're doing this is because I really wanna carve it out and really brighten this area. Okay, now we are going to take just a Morphe regular eyeshadow brush. Okay, I'm loving how it's turning out. I'm gonna do a teeny bit more. I'm gonna apply it to the brush and stamp it. Now we are going to take Sandstone Pro Shimmer, and we're really going to brighten up the inner corner. Okay, I am going to use a Lily England brush. It's just like a regular eyeshadow fluffy brush. Now we are going to take our Sandstone Pro regular, not shimmer. I'm gonna apply it directly to the brush. And we're gonna stick it right underneath our eyebrow. 
Okay, now we're gonna do our brows and then we're gonna highlight the rest of our eye and then we'll move on to face. For the brows, we are going to use Smoked Topaz. This is one of my all-time favorite ashy colors. It really gives the brow a really perfect tone. It is so gorgeous, it's so delicious. It's basically just like the most beautiful ashy brown color. So to do the brows, we are going to do a Morphe angled brush. You want to be so careful when you're doing your brows. You guys want me to do a tutorial video on just brows, um, on how to prepare your brows, how to tweeze, how to trim. Put in the comments down below and I will do that for you. But with brows, it's so crucial that you don't go too dark. Only want to go two to three shades darker than your natural color or what your hair color is. Um, you don't want to go darker than that. You also, there's so many undertones in your hair, like you don't want to go too cool, you don't want to go too warm, so it's really very crucial that you use the right brow color because the brow color can really set the tone for the entire face. You can have a beautiful, beautiful eye, and if you have the wrong brow color, it's going to throw it off. So we got a product directly on the brush, and we are going to start from the bottom and brush up. Now we're gonna take just a disposable brow brush and just brush it through. And then we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now that we have our brow color in, we are going to set it and make sure that it stays, okay? To do that, I am going to use a clear lip sense. This is Icicle. It is a limited edition color that is no longer being made by the company. But luckily, I do still have some in stock and I use it for everything. So we're gonna stick it in the brow. And we're gonna brush it in. This is going to hold everything in place. Now that we have our brows done, we are going to highlight. So because I want a more pearly, vibrant, I am going to mix pearlizer with white concealer. So this is the pearlizer. So we're going to mix the pearlizer and the white concealer. This is going to just brighten up the pearlizer and I am going to apply it with a Morphe M443 brush. Okay, now we're going to clean the shadow up from underneath my eyes. Um, typically when you're doing powder, you can dust away the fallout. Um, you do um, concealer right underneath so that it'll pick it up. But because this is a cream to powder, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a thin little line right underneath both. Clean up under the eye. Blending that under the finger. Okay, that's going to really clean up underneath the eye so that it's not dragging where it's not supposed to. Okay, we're gonna use that Lily England brush again and just smoke out the bottom lash line. Because I have hooded eyes and they're small, they're almond shaped, I always have the hardest time making my eyes glow. The trick that I learned is we're going to tight line the waterline. We're gonna brighten it up right on the inside because our shadows are amazing, you can do that. So I'm going to use a Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. We are taking that white concealer and pearlizer that we made, and that is what we are going to do the waterline with. So it just really brightened up the eyes. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to apply Garnet. It is a dark chocolatey brown color to our lashes before we apply our lash strips. And we're gonna brush that out. Okay, now that we have our garnet on our lashes, we are going to apply lashes. So today we are doing Lashes Everlasting in the brand new style Fire Opal. So it is the most perfect, fluttery, wispy lash. Okay, now that we have those on, we are going to pinch the lash line and the lashes together in the corners. Okay, now we are going to move on to the face. When I'm applying my makeup, my lips start getting really dry because I lick them a lot. So I'm going to wipe the foundation off and I'm going to apply the lip volumizer and let it soak into my lips. 
This stuff is absolutely incredible. It helps smooth out your wrinkles, it plumps your lips, it visually makes a huge difference in the plumpness and visibility of your lips. As that's soaking in, we are going to start to do the face. We are using my favorite blush brush by e.l.f. So to contour, we are doing Mocha Java Shadow Sense, applying it directly from the brush. Okay, with contour, you really want to make sure that you are going from the top of your ear to the end of your brow. Now that we have the contour on our face, we are going to move on and lightly contour the edge of our nose. Okay, now we are going to move on to blush. This is one of my all time favorite brushes. It is a dual fiber contour brush that I actually use for my blush and it is from Real Techniques and we are going to use Toasted Rose Blush Scents. And with your blush, you want to do circular motions. Every single person should be wearing blush because the purpose of your foundation is to make your skin seamless. Even if it's not giving coverage, it's supposed to give it an even skin tone. And you can look really washed out if you don't apply blush. So it is a crucial step in your makeup application. Okay, next up is highlight. My personal favorite part is the highlight. So to highlight, we are going to use the Anti-Aging Pearlizer and we are using my Real Techniques 300 brush. Okay, so with your highlight, you are hitting the high points in your face. So the top of your cheekbone, the bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow, you can do a section on your forehead, but I am going to show you where I My all time favorite highlighter. It's so pretty. It's the perfect shade. Okay, I'm just doing a tiny bit of the white concealer mixed with pearlizer just to give it a little bit more accent. Okay, I'm doing slightly just a teeny bit of blush. Okay, I'm just going to use just a Real Techniques let's see, Duo Fiber Face Brush. And we're just going to blend. Now we are on to lips and we are going to use Icicle today and we are going to use Hazelnut. And we are going to apply a thin layer of the Icicle, let that dry, and then two layers of Hazelnut. Now hazelnut. So two layers of hazelnut. Okay, we're gonna let that second layer dry. First layer was icicle, second layer is hazelnut. We're gonna let this dry and do our final layer of hazelnut. Okay, it's still a little bit tacky. You wanna touch your lips. If it's still tacky, do not do another layer yet. The reason why is because it's kind of like a dry erase marker. So if you go over it and it's still wet, it's gonna pick up the color instead of laying down color. Okay, now we're gonna let the third and final layer dry before we finish off with gloss. Okay, we are good to go. Now we are just going to apply the gloss. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today for our neutral smoky eye. To watch more, please subscribe to my channel to be notified of upcoming videos. If there's something you would like to see, put it down in the comments below. Everything we use today will be in the comments. Um, click your drop down arrow and you will be able to see all of those items and click to shop. If you have any questions, let me know. This is our anti-aging pearlizer, our medium tint color correcting moisturizer, silk pore and wrinkle minimizer, toasted rose blush vents, white concealer, light concealer, icicle clear lip scent. Hazelnut Lip Scents, Mocha Java Shadow Scents, Sandstone Pro Shadow Scents, Candlelight Shadow Scents, Smoked Topaz Shadow Scents, Copper Rose Shimmer Shadow Scents, Copper Rose Shadow Scents, Garnet Shadow Scents, Dewy Foundation, House of Lashes Clear Lash Adhesive, Lashes Everlasting in the style Fire Opal.